Hey guys. Hey Wor Orville. Hey Wilbur. Hey Rocky. Hey Bullwinkle. Hey Snoopy. How are you? You guys, I wish I could let you run around a bit. But you'll uh, you'll follow me and I don't, I don't need that right now. Hey everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. How are you? I'm uh, I'm doing okay, I think. I'm not, I haven't been feeling real great lately. My, uh, but I don't want to turn this into a complaint vlog. Um, my, uh, I have some issues with, uh, um, issues with one of my eyes. It makes a uh, Wen Wendell. Hey, hey, no, down here. Hi, how are you? Um, yeah. So one of my eyes has been getting really tired, which sounds super funny. Sounds kind of odd, but um, it's really the best way to describe it. So it makes it makes playing the game a little bit tiring. It makes it uh, kind of exhausting, actually. So I haven't been playing a whole lot, um, but I did. I have a couple things I want to show, and. Um, I'm going to go up to the ice tray up here. I don't know what state it's in, if I can harvest or not, but let's find out. Clunk, clunk, clunk. So, uh, what you been doing? Uh, work, we've been doing a lot of work with the Olympics. Uh, we are working on... Oh, not even close to being ready. What time is it? Oh, we can get out to where I want to show you. Okay, cool. Uh, Olympics. Can I jump up here? Oh. And we can fly to where I need to go. Um, if you are a, a subscriber of Comcast or... Oh, look at this. Comcast or there's a couple others. Woohoo, good, didn't trample the crops. So, village. Um, but let me finish up my thought before I before I introduce you here. If you're a subscriber like Comcast or uh, DirecTV, or there's a few of them, and you get 4K TV service, uh, they've been streaming the Olympics uh, in 4K, HDR. HDR, UHD being ultra high definition, uh, which gets Cold equally called 4K, although it's not strictly speaking 4K. Huh. Hey guys, how are you doing? Is any of this wheat? I hope not. Um, and HDR meaning high dynamic range, meaning that it gets brighter and uh, you have more colors. <laughs> the guy's still there. Ah. Uh. Should I rescue you? You probably have wheat in your pockets. I probably don't want you. Uh, so, these pictures of the Olympic Games, especially like the the torch, the cauldron at the Olympic, at the opening ceremony, ooh, they look gorgeous in 4K HDR. Um, but you need a crazy uh, internet connection to actually stream this stuff. And you need a really good and very recent TV in order to actually be able to display it. So, um, so not not a lot of people probably have been watching this stuff, but it looks so good. So anyway, what time is it? Why are you all running inside? It's noon, or just slightly afternoon. Okay. Uh, so that's been kind of the what's been going on in my world. Um, we've been spending a lot of time making sure that these streams get up and customers are able to watch it. It's, and it's pretty cool. I've got a, in the office, I don't have one at home. Uh, I have a really nice 2016 model Samsung UHD HDR TV. Um, got it all calibrated and it's pretty nice. And this, as I said, these pictures look amazing. One thing I'm noticing, all of the villagers here, hey, 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 get out, are brown coats, which is really odd, isn't it? 
Oh, you're a butcher. Okay, good to know. Hi. Is there anyone hiding out here? Oh, no. There's a flower, though. That guy. Okay. Um, okay, so we have one butcher, but everyone else is brown coat. Weird. And they don't go past here. If... Okay, so... <laughs> This village, I, I found this village out here. It had a lot of uh, a lot of crops, which was kind of cool. The crazy thing, though, is the way it's built. The fences, I put all the fences there. I didn't want zombies to be able to swim up and hop onto these walkways. They've got, like, uh, boardwalks all over the place. It's like a water village. It's kind of crazy. And... So I didn't want I didn't want zombies to be able to sort of just walk up and walk in and have a snack. Um, and then I playing around with these. I probably should swap this out for just a fence gate. Well, that's an interesting looking structure. Hi, Squid. How are you? Um, I wonder if that's just not all entirely rendered. It's probably not all entirely rendered. So with this. This one should keep the baby zombies, this one should get the adult zombies, and then this one should prevent anyone from being able to just hop up on top of this one. Although, I don't know that that's even a thing. Oh yeah, I like that. So that's why I've got three here. It's kind of wasteful. So one thing I wanted to do real quick, nobody, none of the villagers come past this point here. And the reason being is that these aren't actually houses because they don't have doors and of course I didn't bring my doors with me but we'll uh we'll fix that so let's get up here I put a bed up here um oh whoops didn't need to jump on the bed jump 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 uh so yeah okay so Olympics it's been uh it's been taking quite a bit of my time Let's see here. Still, will that work? That should work. So I could do this. And I can make a crafting table. Pop. Right. And I got my silk touch pick here, so I can pick you up. Pop. And put down the crafting table. And I should be able to make some doors. Oh, I probably don't need that many, because they make like three doors now. Let's go ahead and make. Let's make a couple. Where's the sun? Sun's starting to set. We'll uh, we'll hang out here and go to bed when the sun's ready. Or no, it, it's, uh, it shouldn't take that long. Oops. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, so I've got six doors here. If I go put a door here, plop, and put a door here, these become actual houses now. And there's one over here that wasn't that didn't have a door. So let's go put doors up. <laughs> Oh, pardon me. Okay. You are not a house. But now you are. And who else? You've got a door. You've got a door. And these guys just love opening and closing doors, so... Give them more, more doors to open and close. There you go. Awesome. Okay. It's getting dark. Hi. Sorry. That guy kept jumping into the water, swimming around. Um, they can get in and out of the water, but I didn't I didn't want to wait for him and all of his buddies to get out. So I just put down the fences. So he's kind of stuck out there. Which is unfortunate. So. Go to bed. Nice view. Little forest sleeping on the roof. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Olympics. Olympics. Uh. You probably this. You probably won't see this for a couple weeks. But um, the Olympics just ended. We had the closing ceremony. Closing ceremony. Sorry. It's singular, and apparently that's. An important part of the uh, the Olympics uh, style guide. Oh, I've got I've got more. I've got another 
our butcher, the leather worker. So th this might be the same butcher that we had earlier. So we have a couple of guys with aprons, but a lot of brown coats. Oh, and you are a weaponsmith. Arr, yeah. Uh, so closing ceremony was was yesterday. Today's Monday. Hey guys, what are these? Are these? I believe these are all potatoes. Uh oh. Um. Sorry guys. Let me fix that. I don't have a hoe with me. I have to be careful jumping around the crops, of course. And what is this? Wait a second. Ugh. This will be a gluten-free village. You hear that? Huh. Okay, well I have one potato here. Two potato. No, just one. Pop. Okay, let me go. Hi, you can't farm. What are you doing here? You can't farm either. Hey, you're a weaponsmith. You're a toolsmith. So this is probably... Oh, hey. What did you just plant there? Did you plant... You planted wheat. I told you, gluten-free. That's wheat too, I bet. Oh, yes. Did you pick up those seeds? Hurry up. Plant. Plant. Do it. Do it. This is wheat as well. Potatoes. Wheat. That's wheat. Give it to me. Potatoes. 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 Okay, good. Oh, what did you just plant? Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't put your buddy into the, into the, the water stream there. Okay, good. So I've been trying to get rid of all the wheat in the, in the village. Because I might try to turn this into a breeder village. So I can kidnap these guys and pull them over to make uh, a little quickie iron farm. Hey, hey. Oh, he's just a Fletcher. Okay. So, so I thought this, this, uh, I thought this uh, village was very interesting in the way it was built. I've never seen one like this. It's laid out on the water. It's like water world um, with all these wooden planks so I wanted to preserve it hence all the uh, the fence gates okay what time is it do I have yeah okay well we'll see uh, hopefully by placing the doors out here it shifts the center of the village out and the villagers will feel like they can come over here but this well and this constrained little bottleneck here might actually be a, a bit of a problem so, we did some exploring out that direction. Haven't really done a whole lot out this direction. Oh, hello. We, uh, and I really would like to find some sunflowers because I don't have any. Uh, in general, the, the, uh, the yellow flowers, the, what, the dandelions, I could use more of those because I need a bunch of yellow glass and the dandelions are the easiest way to get yellow dye. Hello, sheep. Um, oh, look at this lava fall. Cave, I hear a zombie. I don't want to get into whoa how did that not kill you this is a sharpness five sword sir Whew. okay I don't want to get into a caving episode but there's some iron oops okay I don't want to go too far in here oh this is going back up can't go too far it's got to be a dead end or out to the surface again. Very nice. Okay. Snow. So I do have some cold biome areas here. Hey, whoa. Oh, that's weird. Mountain climbing with the Elytra on is a little challenging sometimes, isn't it? Uh, 
Oh, we'll just go here. Pop. And put you back. Oh, not the easiest uh, place to scale. We'll do this, though. Blah, blah, blah. It's one thing I like when you're flying with the, the Elytra and you land in water. I think you still keep flying. But I can't switch into F5 mode to check and see. Ooh. What is that? Underwater there? It's not an ocean monument, is it? I don't think so, but it looks oddly structural. What's that there? Okay. Oh, that was just a rendering thing. Didn't finish rendering in. Okay, so we'll do a little exploring here. I may cut away. Is that more taiga up there? It looks like a taiga M, maybe. I like the little bubbles, though. It's funny. Hello, squid. Lots of squids. So what else? Um, I have I have a little bit behind on seeing movies lately, but I did not this past weekend, but the weekend before. I did get out to see Suicide Squad, which I was somewhat excited about. <laughs> see, I was kind of flying when I got out of the water there. I want to check something. Okay. Oops. Oh, cows. Mountain cows. There's lots of them. It's like Cow Mountain here. Oh. Murr. I hear you. Murr. Mountain parkour. Oh. Oh, that didn't help at all, did it? No. We'll cheat. We'll use the gravel. This structure is what I saw from over there. Oh, the footsteps on gravel are nerve-wracking. It's oddly... It's oddly rectangular. It's, it's a really interesting. It's almost like... I wonder if... It's not right on a grid. It's not right on, well, it's right on this side is on a chunk boundary, but this side is not. That's fascinating. Very odd. Uh, Suicide Squad was a horrible, hor well, not horrible. It was, it was a huge mess. Um, it was a mess of a movie. It was difficult to follow what was going on. There were so many opportunities. That they could have taken and they did not it just it was a it was a horrible horrible mess and i mean it, it was a it was a well look at all the cows it was a mess it was a big mess it wasn't necessarily a horrible movie there were things about it i liked um it's it's not as bad as the uh the internet pundits wanted to make it out to be certainly not the fans trying to sue to have Rotten Tomatoes shut down or then uh, then claiming, no, no, it's super bad. Uh, but uh, it was, it had its moments, but not, not nearly enough of them. And it was just, just a huge, huge confused mess of a movie. Um, oh, hello. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I thought I had a bed in here. I should have checked before we uh, before we set off. Okay, I need. Uh, I, it's getting dark. I need. I need some uh, shelter. Oh, are there sheep nearby? There's lots of cows. Yeah, huff, huff yourself. Okay. Um, 
What are we gonna do here? This this could be I'm gonna have to dig in, I think, and Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to dig a little hidey hole for the night. That's uh unfortunate. Can I get down here and safely? Mostly. Okay, it's a pig, but the pig won't give me. Pig won't give me a uh, wool, which I need to make a bed. So I must have used my uh, ender chest bed at the village there, and then not just neglected to uh, to replace it. Okay, so if I put down a torch here, what's over here? I got a cave. Let's uh start of a hidey hole not much one okay we can dig in just enough so that I can uh, put up some sort of a barrier protective barrier and hide myself from the bad guys and then uh, let's put down a torch here Let's dig it out a little bit. Plop. What else? Um, so yeah, Suicide Squad's the only film I've seen super recently. Haven't uh, haven't seen any of the other big summer blockbusters uh, like Jason Bourne. I have not seen that yet, so I'm I'm a little bit behind. And. I did watch on video um, a little film called Bone Tomahawk, which was really disturbing. I, I didn't, I thought it was going to be a Western, and <laughs> it is not a Western. It's a straight up horror film, pretty much. And um, it was uh, it was a very gruesome movie to watch. Uh, I was not expecting that. It's really good, but you know, you have to be willing to watch some pretty gruesome stuff. Um, in order to appreciate it. Um, the performances are all around good, which is which is useful, but um, you know it helps. but it's not uh, it's not at all what I expected. Um, yeah. okay, we're gonna have to wait the uh, the night out here. We're gonna go get that steak, which might be a mistake. Oh creeper. All right, uh, I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, it's daytime now, but I started digging down just for no good reason. I'm hearing skeletons. Turn on the subtitles. And they might be above or below here, I don't know. Kind of poked around a little bit. Hoping to see, but... Um, no such luck. Okay. Um, be nice if I can find a skeleton spawner. I can make a bone farm because I don't really have a good source of bones. Oh, and look at this view. Oh, so nice. So nice. Oops. That's going to fall on my head up here, is it? Nice. Let's turn off that and do a nice screenshot. Very good. All right, so let's move on and hopefully find enough sheep to be able to ma make a uh, bed. Let's uh, do that and do this. Put uh, torches here. So maybe I find this again in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, cows. There's a lot of cows here. All right. Um, no. I'm not going to go out of my way to kill all of them, but you know, I guess we'll grab some some leather. Are we going to run into ocean here? It looks like we are. That's unfortunate. I'm 
Not sure how to handle this. Notion Monument would be nice. I think I've come across a few on my way out to the Taiga Island. But, you know. So, let's see what else. Um, my battery's holding up. Ain't pretty good. So, I have, I have a different sort of recording setup than most uh, YouTubers, I suspect. I don't use uh, recording software like OBS or f Fraps or whatever. Um, I, I record, I have a hardware DVR and a uh, audio recorder that I record out to and then I pull off of there and then I sync it up and I edit everything together. It's not ideal but it works, it's nice and easy and I don't have to um, I don't have to rely on, that's funny, a little piece of stone up there with some snow on top. Um, I don't have to stress out my computer too much because what I have is not really a gaming setup. It's, um, it's, it's a laptop <laughs> and it's not the most powerful laptop in the world. It just happens to be a laptop that I like for general everyday life and so I run Minecraft on it um, so then I hook it up and all these other things to record works for me um, it's not you know it's not the best gaming setup in the world hello lava Very nice little cave stone is that stone yeah it's just stone okay um, kind of look like gravel so, and I've been using, and the audio recorder is battery operated. I can get a AC adapter for it, and probably should, uh, but it's battery operated, and I've been using rechargeable batteries in it. One of the problems that I've, I've had with the rechargeable battery situation is that the recorder seems to be designed to work with alkaline batteries, and it's not super happy with rechargeables. Um, so I'm looking into a new recorder, but in the meantime, I have one that works and, but the, uh, so not only does it, uh, when you put in a freshly recharged set of batteries, um, it pops up and, and it thinks that it's already like, you know, 20% depleted. Uh, so not only that, but the screen is starting to go and I think it's an early OLED display and it's got these lines on it and it's getting difficult to read so uh, so I need to replace that but I found researching the rechargeable situation a bit one of the problems I've had has been if I don't pull the batteries out of the charger when I'm ready to record I pretty much I like I don't know how fully charged it is. Hello sheep! I can make a bed! This is awesome. Sorry guys. Ooh. There's one. There's two. And three. I'm sorry. I had to kill your friends. Um, yeah, so... So if I don't pull the batteries out of the charger, if I don't leave them in the charger, I don't know if they're charged or not and it's not really great so I end up putting back I think I assume batteries are charged when they're not so I put them in and suddenly I can't record because I don't have batteries and then I have to go seek out other batteries or I I have what I suspect might be depleted batteries and and when in fact they might actually be relatively well charged which is not good so you know what since there's so many sheep here let's make a couple beds they stack hey yeah um so we can have spares in the ender chest which is where beds belong right so so I probably end up throwing batteries on the charger that are already relatively well charged. And of course, uh, rechargeable batteries have a tendency to slowly dis self-discharge over time, which is not uh, super convenient. 
Um, but then I found a charger. Oh, and if you and if you charge a already partly charged battery, um, it will it'll have a negative impact on the overall life expectancy of the uh, the battery. So didn't want to do that, but you can uh, you can sort of re recondition them by. Uh, by doing a good low deep discharge and then and then charging it up and topping off with a trickle charge but the charger that I've been using doesn't do that it's not a particularly intelligent charger so so I bought a I bought an intelligent battery charger it's really slick you can do all kinds of things you can control the rate at which it charges the batteries it'll do both NICADs and nickel metal hydride batteries or hydrate or whatever the right name of that is and that's interesting so uh so i got that and then searching on the you know because i also would like to switch over for you know all the various tv remotes and whatnot but you know it's like you need to have batteries sitting around for when those go you can't say oh i'm going to stop watching tv for overnight because i don't have freshly charged batteries is that a horse oh it's a black and white horse hello oh you're pretty yes you are hi oh hello okay um so i hello another doggy okay i'll let you go i don't need more dogs bark so this must be a taiga biome here. Oh, lots and lots of sheep. So I found some low self-discharge batteries, which hang on to a good good percentage of their charge over time, so you can... Oh, what was that? Huh. A lilac. Self-ejected it from the sand here. Self-ejected itself. Interesting. So I bought a bunch of batteries to go with my new fancy battery charger. I bought some Eneloop Pro, which are high, they're sort of designed for high discharge uh, situations where uh, equipment that sort of expects a full one and a half volts out of a battery, like an alkaline. So I'm trying that in the battery in the audio recorder and it seems to be working. It didn't it doesn't it doesn't think that it's already partly discharged. Oh, you're you're in trouble. So let me help you. Oh, I'm sorry. Goodness gracious. Okay, that should be plenty of wool. Is that my that's my village. I don't even need to make a new bed. <laughs> okay, well I didn't get that far, did I? But Sun is going down, so this is a convenient place to to uh, stop for the night. So I'm trying that, and then I've got a bunch of others that I needed to charge, and they were low self-discharge. The Eneloop Pros are not low discharge, so they kind of need to be relatively freshly charged in order to uh, to work. They will lose a lot of their charge over time but the but the other ones won't and they can sit in a box for months and months and months and still retain a lot of their charge so if we have a need for some batteries we can uh, we can always grab one of those hang on a second let me go to bed So then, of course, the the big challenge is how to store these batteries. Because, <laughs> again, part of the problem is if I don't actually pull them off of the uh, the charger uh, right away, I kind of don't know if they're charged or <laughs> not. Um, you know, I can get out... Oh, the beds don't stack. Interesting. I forgot about that. I should have known that. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll uh, 
Are you here an Enderman? Or is that me closing the Ender chest? All right. Um, so I figured I needed a little box or case or something for batteries that I could sort of stick someplace and, and I could have a system where I pull them out of the charger because I got a, you know, like 20 of the regular Eneloops and like four of the Eneloop Pros. And I've got a few other miscellaneous ones. I've, I got eight rechargeable batteries with the charger itself. So, so anyway, I went to, um, so it was like, I figured I needed, oh, I needed to fix that is what I needed to do. Okay. Sorry. We'll, uh, we'll fix that now. Oh, look, potatoes. I got an idea. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Did you replant with potatoes? No, you did not. It's wheat. Ah. Which one of you did it? It's an empty spot over here. Better plant some potatoes in it. Okay. Ah. Um. Hi. So. So anyway, I figured I need a box of some sort, and I'll just create a little system. And then I was like, oh, well, wait a second. I have a 3D printer. So I can, I can make, I can print a little box. So I went and found a, a design uh, for battery holders. It's actually like a tray type holder and printed it out. And it's now filled with, uh, let's see, what do I need for this? It's now filled with rechargeable batteries that are all charged. Works pretty well. So that was, uh, so that was kind of cool. Let me make a little hoe here. And. Doop. Doop. And. Oh. If I throw that there, hopefully nobody comes up and picks it up. Oh, and I need to switch back to the silk touch. To do this. And I need to pick that up. So we can get rid of these seeds. Hopefully no villagers can come up here and pick that up. I really don't want them planting wheat. So anyway, I printed uh, I printed out the little battery tray. It's pretty cool. And uh, I printed two. So I can have one for charged batteries and one for batteries that need to be charged. But I figure as soon as something comes out of a out of a device that, and the batteries need charging that uh, I can uh, just go throw it on the charger okay how much of this is wheat potatoes wheat oh you can do that potatoes 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 okay awesome so maybe more war against wheat is winnable. Except they keep doing that. Come on, guys. What did you plant? Potatoes. Thank you. Okay. Well, I think that's uh, that's enough for today. We've rambled on long enough about rechargeable batteries and gluten-free villages. Um... And found another dog or wolf. We cannot tame him. So that's that. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.